Welcome to Homebrewing TV. Right about now, I bet you're wondering what Paul and Mike from Homebrewing TV are doing starting off a video on my channel. Maybe I should start from the beginning. Alright, ready for another road trip today? Yeah, let's go. It's time to go. We're ready to hit the road, folks. Got some donuts, some coffee, <laughs> and shag. All right, so we're all we're all ready to go. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's hit it. Let's do it. Recently, Paul invited me to come up and do a cross-channel YouTube brew day with him, and I accepted and invited Chad too. It was just about a two-hour drive from my home in Illinois to his house in Wisconsin. He lives just north of Milwaukee. I've driven through this area a number of times over the years. It gave Chad and I plenty of time to drink our coffee, talk about stuff, and get psyched up for the brew day. And we arrived right on time. Now let's continue with the story. Today we're going to be brewing up a 15 gallon batch of a rye PA using our fresh hops right off the vine. We also have two special guests with us, Larry and Chad from Beer and Barbecue by Larry. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Hi guys. You bet. Yeah. So. Let's get this day started with uh, a little, little setup. What do you say? Let's do it. All right. Let's we'll rock. Be right back. Now, throughout the entire brew day, Paul had a personal assistant, and I'm not referring to Mike. Computer, turn on the grain mill. Computer, turn on pump two. Computer, turn off pump one. Computer, turn on pump two. Then it was time to mash in. It was beginning to look and smell really good. The smell of steeping grains was everywhere. It was awesome. So we're we're approaching the, the beer thirty. The beer thirty. Beer thirty. Uh, coffee's not cutting it anymore. Beer thirty um, sounds good. Yeah. I like so beer let's dirty. get let's get some beers, and uh, we'll go take a look at the uh, the hop vine that we're going to be pulling from. Awesome. Sounds great. All right. Yeah. Paul was a great host. He gave us several of his home brews to try. Oh hey, hey, about to try your was it your bastard ale? Yep. All right, man. Cheers. Oh, man, this is gonna be a good day. So um, this is your what? This is the 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 Azaka Pale Ale, and I brought my own as well. The Azaka Pale Ale that I brewed a little bit ago, the, one, the, the American Strain version that is, served in the mobile dress system I made recently. I got videos on both of those. Go check those out when you get a chance. <laughs> it's uh, oh, that's nice. That's yeah. Clear. All right. Yeah. Give it a shot. Oh, that's what it's got. Uh, it's got a little sweetness to it. I like it. And it wasn't just Paul and I sampling the beers. Mike and Chad got it on the action too. So, Chad, tell me about this beer. Well, I like it. <laughs> Chad, Honestly, Chad likes this beer. I like this beer. This is the American. Uh, what are you talking about? I have no idea. Everything. Oh, he gosh. just summed it up. He likes it. What's what's more to say? It's not beery. Right. No, this <laughs> right. We had some time to kill, so we decided to go outside with beers in hand to go inspect the hops. Yeah, take one. And wow, did they smell good. Oh, hey, Chad, they're smelling, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't wait to put these in the beer. You can do it right now. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just whoop, across the beer. Door. There you go. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. This is, is going to be an awesome day. And of course, we made time for more than one beer. Paul had a variety of them for us to try, including this one. Uh, Explain to the camera the again stores. what it is that we're drinking this okay. time. So this is a it's a Russian Imperial Stout that was aged three months in a whiskey barrel, and then uh, there's some vanilla and cinnamon added to it. Nice. I refer I refer to this as the Anna Chapman. The Anna Chapman. Yeah, are you familiar with Anna Chapman? No, but this smells good. I, I don't Anna Chapman <laughs> is a Googler. Gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous, actual Russian spy. All right. 
pause this video right now and go look it up. It's okay. We'll wait. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, so, a, yeah. I'm gonna get my cup. I'll be right yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> it is phenomenal. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, salute. Cheers for the uh, sample, man. This is really good. Oh god. I absolutely love. All right. I love stouts. I love bourbon. That, I love wow. bourbon stouts. And this is a, one of the better ones I've had. So this is definitely ex excellent work, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And it was, it was aged in a, a barrel. Obviously, that's whiskey a barrel. Yeah, whiskey barrel. 55-gallon barrel. In nice. I'm afraid to taste it. It smells so strong. What's the, let's, speaking of which, what, what's the ABV on this? It's about 10.2. 10.2. Okay, you're driving home. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thought we were about to fight there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is interesting. It really is amazing. Yeah. This is an excellent way to kill the time while the mash is still going. That's right. I'll right. tell you that right now. Yes. Hey, we actually Speaking got our mash. temperature like, sorted out. Oh, yeah. It came back down. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I walk up here, uh, met Paul and Mike for the first time this morning in person, right? Uh, all of a sudden, he yells, fan, turn off, or turn on, or whatever it was. I'm like, who's he shouting at? His kids? His wife? You know, no, the fan overhead here off the camera just turns on or off whatever that was yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm like that's crazy and then he starts talking to his garage and like the gray mill comes on and off the uh, the pump down here for the for the water for the beer turns on and off I'm just like I'm, I'm so envious I, I want to go home and do this yeah <laughs> yeah sorry I'm kind of a, he's lazy kind of a geek <laughs> And, and, and a lazy one too. I'm lazy. The yes, secret, the, the real secret is, is Larry's a geek too, and he just doesn't ever tell nobody. Yeah. I just play one on TV. Wait, no. On YouTube. I, I, on YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. YouTube TV. No, YouTube. I don't, or I don't play no, one on YouTube. No, but no, I have one in real life. No. Are you saying I'm a closet geek? I'm, no, you're not. Well, we all know, but they might not know. But <laughs> yeah, you're not closeted <laughs> anymore. I mean, I've been outed. I'm out of the closet. Yeah. He's, a, he's a background engineer, so I mean, he's going to yeah. be nerdy about it. That's all there is to it. An engineer with, with an IT background too. So I mean, engineering IT. So you figure that's kind double of double whammy. Double whammy, guys. Mm. Hmm, double whammy. I try really hard not not to give you any clue about that, but that's it's true. He can redesign right. it and fix the computer at the same time. <laughs> I can drink beer and fix the computer at the same time. Yeah. I can brew beer and fix the computer at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hey, a salute for the beer. Thank Excellent. You. Good time. This, this, this is amazing. This yep. really is. Around. So, it's finally time to sparge and water, so we got back to business. Yeah, the sparge water is just a little hot, so we're going to cool it down a little quicker by. Uh, Bringing the heat up to the surface, and we always like Mike do this because yeah, because Mike does all he does the all the work for it. <laughs> I don't have computers I do, do the my thinking. work. He does all the manual stuff. I'm I'm an analog guy. I'm a manual. Just hit boil. We're going to be adding two ounces of Northern Brewer hops. Uh, would you like one? Absolutely. All right. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> they're they're childproof. Oh my god! <laughs> Look yeah. how childproof. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's camera. Cool, that. Hey, camera. Oh. oh yeah. Take a look at this. I've got the whole thing open, <laughs> oh, and I don't have it open. It doesn't so have it open yet. You are so lame. <laughs> oh my. That lord. That smells good, man. Yeah, it does it smell good. Going in. And it would smell better if I could get this stupid thing open. No, right right into the hot hot it's childproof locks. Would you like that would... help? Would you like something really, Mike? He's How about a scissors? Really? All right. Yeah, I got scissors out here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <ta -da. laughs> da -da. Yes. Would you please do the honors? Thank you. There you go. <laughs> wonderful. All right. Oh, wow. is this wonderful? This is, gentlemen. Yeah. Anyone yeah. want to have a nice? <laughs> Ah. Oh yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> Can't get enough of that stuff. Okay, here we go. Only people can smell through TV. Right? That's smell right. vision. Smell vision. Smell vision. Yeah. There we go. Better. Better. That right. boil is smell great. So I start? All right. So yeah, so Larry, I so, gave you a Bud Light. You may notice there's a pickle in our beers. I have to explain this. Paul and Mike had done a video called Detroing a Beer where they talk about putting a pickle in the beer to improve the flavor of bad beer. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out, but uh, let's carry on here. Paul, what, what's in my beer? That, my friend, is a pickle. A pickle? A dill pickle, to be exact. 
and that is referred to as detroing your beer. Detroing? Could you explain this for me? Sure. Uh, to detro beer, see, a detro is it's it's it goes back to Germany. Um, when we, and and basically, all of their beers were just like low end, just feed the masses, no flavor, nothing in it. So they would put adjuncts in like pickles, and it was referred to as detroing your beer. Are you believing any of this? I'm not. So this is what we like to call making a Bud Light actually taste good. That's quite a feat. So give it a shot. Here All you right. go. Cheers. Look. All right. Here we go. I'm a little bit cautious here. Mmm. Adds a little flavor to it. Takes the edge off the Bud Light. Makes it more like pickle. It gets it a little more, a little more palatable, if you will. So if you've got nothing but Bud Light, find yourself a nice dill pickle. Cheers. In. Yeah, salute, man. Ask him to detro your beer. <laughs> goes back to Germany, it does it? goes back to Germany, huh? Oh, no, man. What happen. the f***? Who cares? <laughs> detro is a German that was, name. Huh? Yeah, detro? No. So, no, no. did you buy any of that? <laughs> <laughs> so it was time to get back to work. The boil was almost done, and we had yet to pick any of the hops. What are you doing? You're recording me. I'm recording you. Recording. I'm me. recording you. Recording me. Recording you. All right. All right. Let's let's do it. <laughs> so just start plucking them off. Did you just Throw say to pluck off? I, did. I just pluck thought off. I heard him say pluck off. I thought I heard a pluck off too. Uh, I, I just it, saying. It was a yeah. Pee, <laughs> it was a pee. As long as we're not hip hopping. It is, this is my <laughs> pluck. I have to say I'm it's a, a pluck and a throw. I'm a, I'm a virgin at this whole plucking thing. You, you, you've never plucked before? Is you said pluck, saying? right? Virgin? Never plucked. I, I did. mean, I, I we are a, a G rated show. I by just, the way. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just saying pluck. what I heard him say. Pluck with a, with a P. A P. With pluck. P. Yes. Got it. Hey, it's Paul. Uh, hey. Hey, how's Larry. it going? Hey, hey. You doing? <laughs> yeah, it's very good. I'm going to go check how many hops we actually need here. Excellent. Oh, these, smell, these smell amazing. You start squishing them with your hand, and the aroma just comes out. Holy lupulin! Now, now I know why you always see them commercials and the guy's smelling, smelling the thing. Oh my goodness! They got the hoppy smell with a little bit of earthy. Here, hold on. I want to come in here. A little bit of earthy smell. This stuff is awesome. I mean, these are the Centrilla ones, right? These are the Chinooks. 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 These are awesome. This would be a good like man clone. Is it man clone you say, yeah, Chad? Yes. This, would, this would be a good man clone. Man clone. <laughs> Not a man clone, but a man cologne. 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 Okay, because I don't think you I'm clone. Sorry. Did I did I pronounce that wrong? I'm sorry. <laughs> pronounce that, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like I like making up words and pronouncing things incorrectly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chad's See? still angry about my little sleight of hand with the Chad last video. Chad put the accent on the wrong syllable. <laughs> <laughs> I rode the short bus when I was younger too. Yes, yeah. he did. Oh. oh, man. So my question is, why does Paul have us here picking all He's of... He's not going to this. Yeah, where is Paul anyway? Anyone seen Paul? He decided to play... I think oh. we got suckered... Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey! Six hey. ounces. Six ounces of hops we need to pick, I folks. I think we got more than enough. Well, let's well, let's measure it out. We'll find out. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess no. No, they're not. They're not no actually, too. you know what? I'm gonna go get a bag so we can put those in the bag. Not very heavy. Should we keep picking your hops there, keep Paul? Them. Okay, Paul. Say that these were. Uh, those are the cascades. Cascades. Well, we'll throw a few cascades. All right. So uh, what Paul doesn't know at the moment is that Mike is picking the cascades and not the Chinooks. So this beer is gonna be what he designed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. How many hops we got in this thing? Uh, about five. Five ounces. Five oh, ounces. Fresh, oh, wet, wet <laughs> hop, fresh hops picked off the vine. This isn't even five minutes old off the vine. Okay. You can tell the new ones from the old ones. The other ones are all, like, all brown already. Ones we had in there for a couple minutes already. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they turned. All of those hops in the boil there really started to make that garage smell really good. I think it was starting to drool. Gorgeous. Oh man, it yeah, smells it wonderful. If they had smell o vision on, on YouTube, that would be absolutely supreme. We should Superb. pioneer that. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So excited. <laughs> That's a nice dance you got there, Paul. Isn't it? How about you, Mike? Oh, I'm shaking it. There you go. All right, come shake on, Mike. It. Shake, shake it, baby. It's a new dance. It's called it the beer dance. It's the beer dance. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's the five gallon glass damage. Time to fill up. So it's filling up uh, my carboy now, it looks like. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah, you can do a look at that. Oh, oh my god. There you are, sir. A gift for me? There you are. All right, my own package of US05. US05. Woohoo, yeah. I love it. Thank Woo. you very much. You bet. <laughs> oh my God. By the time you get home, that should be ready to, uh, ready to pitch. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's watch Paul clean up all the stuff. No, the let's not there. watch No, that. let's hop in our car and, and like run away. Oh, we can do that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Man. Come on, man. Like all right, Chad's in. All right. All right. So, I'm Paul, in. we are, we are done. That was that was a great day. I, I, I appreciate uh, having Larry and Chad come out. Uh, it was a great day. It was a lot of fun. It was a fun we had time. A good we time. Had a, a good time, Mike. Yeah, absolutely had a fantastic time. Uh, picking those hops was more labor intensive than I had ever imagined, but but I've never done it before. I thought it was an awesome experience, and I won't forget it. So uh, yeah, so that's that's really it for us. Uh, if you have any questions about what we did today, please put those in the comments below. We would be happy to answer those for you. Uh, Definitely go check out uh, Larry's channel. I will put a link in the description below. Uh, and don't forget to check out their channel at the link at the description below on my video. There you go. Cross see it. Cross That's channel right. collaboration. Right. Cheers. Cheers. That's how it works. Yeah, going around. So if you haven't subscribed to either one of us, click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when we put out new information. And uh, for us, until next time, keep, keep brewing, brewing, my friends. friends. Computer, turn off the brewery. I hope it was a successful brew day, Paul. That sweet system is shut down, my friend. We got Larry and Chad from Beer and Barbecue from Larry by Larry. I like that up. Yeah, you did. I did. I'm gonna do it again. Again. I can't. I cannot do one more time. There we go. Thank you.